Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel once again. My name is Kushbu and in this particular video, we are going to discuss one another important topic inside statistics video lecture series. The name of that topic is Phi Number Summary. So this particular topic is not only important for statistics, but it is important as well for the machine learning. When we used to do the feature engineering in top of our data, on top of our data set, uh, so at that point of time, this five number summary plays a very, very important role in order to understand if there is any kind of outlier present in the data set or not. For this, we used to plot the plot uh, called as box plot and that box plot helps us to understand that if any kind of outlier is present in my data set or not. Let us understand this five number summary first. Then after we will discuss about how this five uh, number summary helps us to find the outlier. So watch this video till the end in order to understand its use, its uh, like a specification in both contexts for statistics as well as for the machine learning. As the name suggests, five number summary. So there is particularly five term that is included inside this five number summary. Let's see what's the name of those. The first one is called as, uh, sorry, this is minimum. Okay. The second one is called as first quartile. Okay. First quartile. That is also called as 25th or uh, 25th percentile. Okay. The third one is called as median. So already we have seen about this median in the uh, measure of central tendency video. If you haven't seen that video, please go and check out that. This will be in the statistics video lecture series only. The fourth one is uh, third quartile. Third quartile, which is also called as 75th percentile. Okay. 75th percentile. Also one more thing guys, this percentile is different from percentage percentile means suppose uh i have a data set okay i have a data set like this one two three four five six seven eight fine this is my data set suppose if i am saying that this four is my 50th percentile okay 50th percentile now this percentile value here means that 50 percent of the data is lesser than this number four okay if i am saying that this two is my 20th percentile okay 20th percentile so it means that 20 uh, 20 of the data lies below or uh, is lesser than this particular number two so this is it mean by percentile by uh, percentile value now the fourth term inside five number summary is third quartile, which is also called as 75th percentile. And the, uh, the fifth term inside this five number summary is maximum. Okay. Maximum. Now, this five number, uh, sorry, this five term is particularly considered as the five number summary inside statistics. Now, let us understand how to calculate this if I have a data set, these all five numbers summary. Okay, let me take one example, one example data by which I'll be able to show you how to calculate these all terms on top of that data set. Suppose I have a data set like this. Okay, just a second. I have a data set like this. Example, one, two, two three four uh this is just a random number i'm taking okay five six six seven eight eight and nine so this is the data that i have now just count once how many number of term that is present in this data set that is one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So here, 13 number of term is present inside my data set. Let me mention this, okay? Because this is going to be needed in the later stage when I'm going to calculate. 
all time. So this is the data that I have. Now, suppose I need to calculate the first five number summary that is minimum value. So as the name suggests, here I need to calculate the minimum value. Now for that, for calculating this five number summary, first I need to arrange this data set into ascending order. Now if you see here, this data is already arranged in the ascending manner. So I need now to arrange this data again as of now, right? Now if I ask you about the minimum value in this data set, so this one will be considered as the minimum value. This one will be uh, considered as the minimum value. Okay. Now, similarly, if I ask you about the maximum value, so you are going to tell me that this nine number is the maximum in this entire data set. So that will be considered as the maximum value. All right. Now, in a similar way, I if I ask you which is my median value, so Median value is going to be, which one guys? The middle value. So here I have a small number of data sets. So I can calculate it like this. So suppose I have, uh, I have 13 number of terms. So six, six number each side, it will be taking. And this five number that is in, that is present inside the middle, uh, present in the mid that will be considered as the median value. Now this 5 will be considered as the median. So I'm not going in depth of all this. Why? Because I have already explained about this mean, median and mod and also explained nicely that how to calculate all these terms, right? So if you haven't seen, I'll again say, uh, I'll again say that go and watch that video. It will be in the statistics series only. So uh, these three value we are now able to calculate, right? That is minimum, maximum and median. Now we are left out with the two uh, thing inside this five number summary, which are those this first quartile or uh, first quartile and third quartile, right? This is left and this is left. That is 25th percentile and 75th percentile. Now how to calculate it? There, there is a specific formula for calculating this 25th percentile and 75th percentile. Let us know, uh, like let us see which are the formula. So for calculating 25th uh, percentile, I have a formula that is 25 by 100 into n plus 1. Now, here don't be confused. This n is number of terms, number of terms that is present in my data set. So here, if you remember, here I told you to count the number of data, number of data uh, that is present in my data set, right? So there were 13 number of terms that is present in my data set. Now here, if I calculate this 25th percentile, so what will be the value? Here, I'll take 25 by 100. And what is my n here, guys? Here, this 13 is the n value. So I'll be taking 13 plus 1. So what it will be? It will be 1 by 4. 1 by 4, like 25, it will just divide it by 4 into 14. Okay, 13 plus 1, it will be 14. Now, if I'll calculate this, I'll be getting the value 3.5. Okay, you can check. Uh, so this 3.5 I'll be getting. So my 25th percentile value will be 3.5. 3.5 will be my, uh, this is point, okay. Uh, sorry, let me write one second. 3.5 is my first quartile or 25th percentile, okay. So one more value we are able to calculate. Now the last thing that we are left out with is 75th percentile. Okay, 75th percentile. So the formula to calculate this 75th percentile is exactly same as we calculated the 25th percentile. So what will be here? It will be 75 by 100 into n plus 1. So this is the formula to calculate 75th percentile of any data set. Now, if we calculate this, I'll be getting here 3 by 4. Why? Because with 25, I, it is divided by 3 and this is divided by 4. 3 by 4 into 
14 that is 13 plus 1 is 14 now if I calculate this I'll be getting 10.5 okay so this value also I got as 10.5 I'll write here is my 75th percentile value so we are now able to calculate this five number summary this total five number summary for this particular data that we have so this is the uh, this is how we used to calculate five number summary now moving towards the machine learning part in our data set how do we understand that there is any kind of outlier present in my data set or not so for that let's see for that here we need to calculate two more term that is that is the first one is we need to calculate is lower fence lower fence and the second thing that we need to calculate is upper fence now what does it mean i'll uh, explain in a while so lower fence uh, we used to calculate with the formula called as q1 minus q1 minus 1.5 iqr so i'll explain you what is this iqr okay now for calculating this uh, upper fence the formula that i have is q3 plus 1.5 iqr now let us understand what is this iqr here so this iqr is nothing but inter quartile range okay inter quartile range and this interquartile range is calculated with the formula that is q3 minus q1 q3 minus q1 and what is this q1 and q3 so this 25th percentile is only called as q1 and this 75th percentile is only called as q3 so i have q1 value and i have q3 value as well now for calculating lower fence I'll be writing here. So what is my 25th percentile value guys? 3.5, right? 3.5 minus 1.5, 1.5 into the, into IQR. So IQR value we didn't calculate it. So it will be Q3, that is 10.5 minus, sorry, 10.5 minus, it will be 3.5, all right? And I'll be getting seven. So 7 is my IQR value. So here what I'll write? I'll write 7. Now, if I calculate this, that is 3.5 minus 1.5. So this is 1.5. 1.5 into 7. So I'm going to get the value is minus 7. Okay. Minus 7 I'm going to get. Now, uh, if I calculate the upper fence, I'll be getting, what is my Q3? 10.5 plus 1.5 into IQR, that is 7. What I am going to get, guys, calculate just once. So, I will be getting 21. So, this is my lower fence value and this is my upper fence value. So, in my data set, if there is data that is present in between this range, that is minus 7 to 21, so, in that case, it is not going to consider as outlier. If in case any data I have outside this range, so that will be considered as an outlier. Fine. If I have 25, if I have 32, if I have 57, so that is considered as the outlier for this particular data set because now I have the range. I have the range of lower fence as well as I have the range of upper fence. So if in case any value lies outside these value, so that will be considered as a kind of outlier. Fine. So here, when we used to plot the box plot, you know, let me uh, show you once. When we calculate, uh, when we plot actually, box plot here like this so this is how box plot looks right guys let me show you sorry this is how box plot looks like so how do we know actually uh how do we know which is my minimum value here which is my 25th percentile that i'll show you so here in the middle if you see 
here you will be getting the median value okay now this is my this point okay this point is my 25th percentile okay 25th percentile this value this value is actually my 75th percentile i'll tell you uh, what we will do with all these stuff percentile now here so this will be this will be this two point here it will be my minimum value and this point will be my maximum value suppose if i am getting box plot like this there is no such outlier present in my data set if in case i have any value ranging outside this value okay ranging outside this value so that will be considered as outlier outliers okay and we will try to remove this also similarly in the left hand side also suppose for my data set the lower fence value is 21 okay 21 so if in case any value will be present 21 it will be present outside this suppose if in case any value will be present uh, like lesser than this minus 7 that will be present outside this so that value will be considered as outliers and that value we are not going to include in our data because that is going to affect our accuracy so this is how this is the significance of this five number summary inside uh, machine learning when we used to do the feature engineering so i hope you understood how to calculate this five number summary i'll uh, revise i'll sum up the things which i uh, taught you now so we studied this five number summary where we had the five term that is minimum first quartile which is also called as 25th percentile the third one is median the fourth one is third quartile also called as 75th percentile and the last one is maximum okay so i just explored this thing uh, these term with the help of a data set suppose i if i had a data set like this okay so we will be calculating this five number summary where we will first arrange the data in ascending order and the minimum value we will take from this data set and maximum value for maximum for median we will take the median value and for 25th percentile and 75th percentile calculation we have a formula that is 25 by 100 into n plus 1 and similarly for calculating this 75th percentile i have a uh, formula that is 75 by 100 into n plus 1 okay now this was how we calculate five number summary in statistics now in order to know inside machine learning how we actually deal with the uh, outlier so that point of time we need to calculate this lower fence and upper fence for that formula is here q1 minus 1.5 into iqr for upper fence it is q3 plus 1.5 into iqr so we calculate it and if in case any value will be present outside this range we will be considering that as an outlier and we will remove that fine so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. That's it for this video. Till then, keep learning and keep exploring from your end. Thank you so much.